Hi, welcome to the Life In and Out broadcast. I'm your host, Nikki Yarbrough, and I am here live on this scene in the great office, in the great sheriff's office of Gaston County, uh, here with Sheriff Morris Young. Thank you so much, Sheriff, for just being a guest on the show. I mean, I've watched you I've, uh, over the years, and I'm so uh, greatly appreciative of you and for your service and what you do for Gaston County. This is my hometown, and I'm so excited to be here with you. Well, thank you, and uh, I thank God for you being here this morning. Yes, yes. We, um, I've heard so many different, I mean, good things about what you're doing, so many exciting things about what you're doing right now in this county. County. And just recently, I saw where you were uh, really um, speaking with some of the homeless uh, people down in Midway. That's just something that I saw. It just kind of caught my eye. Yes, and I was like, wow, I was really taken by that. So I just want you to share a little bit about what you're doing right now, about um, you as a person, as just a, a man, a man of faith, what you're doing for this county, this great county. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know, I was born and raised here in Gadsden mm -hmm. County, and uh, I'm very passionate about law enforcement and my role mm -hmm. as an uh, officer here in Gadsden County. Uh, just being the sheriff, uh, it's been a great opportunity for me, and uh, I've met some great people here in the county. Yes. Uh, you know, I've met people and, um, here in this county that uh, is less fortunate than a lot mm, of folk, and right. uh, I see uh, from time to time where we have our elderly mm -hmm. who are living alone, and uh, we try to address those concerns with programs like our uh, Keeping Independent Seniors Safe, mm -hmm. and not only that, but our youth. Yes. Uh, we, uh, we really try to uh, corral our youth together and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, minimize some of the, the problems that they have, and uh, we have such programs like Teen Court and all mm -hmm. that. Uh, to uh, make sure we can um, keep them out of our judicial system. Right. But our homeless, uh, I just started uh, a few years ago mm -hmm. addressing the homeless concerns here in Gadsden County. And I had an opportunity, I made a promise to the homeless mm -hmm. uh, community uh, here that I, will, uh, I, I would spend the night with them. Wow. And uh, just a week ago, I was uh -huh. uh, I was out uh, sleeping in the woods with the homeless. Really, you and, actually uh, went out. I actually went out, and we had a, a great dinner. Uh, we uh, roasted uh, sausage and wieners on on the wow. fire, and uh, and had a great night. wasn't a wasn't a real uh, uh, good night for sleeping, right. but uh, uh, fighting off the mosquitoes mm -hmm. and and all of that. But you know, those folk are are, are human too. They are. And uh, you know, who am I to look over them? Uh -huh. And we try our best to uh, to actually uh, look at some of our major concerns here in the county and, and make sure that we can address them. Uh, you know, just like gangs and homeless, uh, 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 seniors who live alone and forgotten about, you know, uh, about their families, um, uh, sometimes we don't understand and we, don't, we can't see that problem. Right. Uh, and uh, I have to address those concerns and make, make our community aware of them. Yes, well, I, you know, I think you've done a great job. I didn't know that you actually went out and slept overnight just to get yes, a feel of, you know, of how, well, to get a feel of what they go through on a nightly basis, on a day-to-day yes. -day basis. Yes. And that is so awesome because how can we uh, uh, help provide change if we really don't have an understanding as to what it is that the people are going through? Yes. So I thank God for you for doing that. Yes, I don't know if, you know, oh gosh, that is, that would be a hard thing for me. I'm so glad you're sheriff. You yes. know, that's why God chose you. <laughs> but, um, you know, the thing with the youth, um, that's a great, that's a great thing because we, you're the sheriff of the county. Yes, ma'am. And what we do is we try and um, help them in, in the education system. Mm -hmm. We try to have mentors, but after they get home, after the programs are over, what what do they do? 
where you know where can they go to help enhance what what's on the inside of them if they don't have an outlet then they go out and start doing something that they're they're not supposed to do yes. and that's where the crime comes in and they're starting at an early age yes, it does. so uh, what program is it actually here that the pe that the uh, parents can call or or can get help with their youth well right now we uh, we actually uh, have a program called Teen Court mm -hmm. and that's a diversionary program when when the youth uh, have their first offense. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to divert that. Um, uh, uh, the state attorney's office has been great mm -hmm. in uh, supporting that particular program. But uh, if they go through the team court program right. uh, uh, and they are judged by their peers, mm -hmm. uh, they go before a judge, and uh, that judge can be not just a sitting judge, but uh, any elected official or somebody uh, um, um, upscale. A person in the right, community right. serve as a judge mm -hmm. and uh, when they listen to this person uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when they listen to the the, the kids um, uh, problem that they mm -hmm. uh, got into uh, uh, they're judged by their peers right. and they'll go in uh, either you know uh, 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 write a, a, an apology to the victim and uh, they'll go in uh, before the state attorney's office mm -hmm. and uh, uh, hopefully if they Both complete the program mm -hmm then that charge is taken away from them. Oh, well, that's good. That yes. is good because a lot of, I think a lot of youth see the police as bad, as bad, as bad. Yes. But no, you know, you're here to, to help um, give you a better life, to help yes. you, you know, not to make so many mistakes. So right. I think that's a very positive thing because we're, we're trying to help stop some of the, the, the crime as well as keep, stop the recidivism rate exactly. for inmates, exactly. you know, and exactly. I know that that's something that you really, that, that's gotten your heart yes, um, about, you know, successful reentry, and that's something that I'm very passionate about. Yes. You know, I volunteer in the prison here in Gaston County, Thank and you, you know, I, I love it. I, I do because um, I realized that that could have been my sister, my brother, yes. you know, my mom. When yes. I see the women, the ladies, and I hear their stories, yes. so, you know, once they get out, I try to, you know, see what programs that, that are able to help them so that they can have a success, successful reentry back into society, yes, successful reentry back to their families. So when I heard about the program that you were doing yes, here, you know, that caught my eye right there. That got right. me. So can you, you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, you know, thanks to uh, Miss Annie Berry, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, uh, we, we got together and uh, came up with the Faith Faith uh, uh, Reentry Program oh, Behind wow. Bars. And uh, we named it the, the Marvin Spencer story. And, uh, you know, Marvin Spencer is a, a young man who grew up here in Gadsden mm -hmm. County in uh, one of the local housing projects. And uh, Marvin started getting in trouble at an early age. Matter of fact, his first offense was uh, fishing without a license. Oh. And uh, after his first offense, Marvin continued to uh, 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 just, you know, mm -hmm. go to the system. Right. Uh, um, now Marvin is uh, 44 years old, mm -hmm. and he spent over 28 years of his life in the system. Uh, in and out of jail and prisons. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marvin Spencer, you know, now he's in jail serving time, mm -hmm. but he said uh, to himself, enough is enough. Right. I've been in the system too long. Mm -hmm. He's matter of fact, I don't know how to operate a computer. I don't wow. know how to write a resume. I've never worked on a job mm -hmm. because I've been in prison. Mm -hmm. And if you look at Marvin Spencer's story, uh, 28 years in the system. Now, if you, if you think about it, 28 years on a job, Marvin would be ready to retire. Right. You know, but he spent that time in the system, and uh, he's cost the state of Florida and Gadsden County over three hundred thousand dollars just wow. being in the system, oh, uh, just for one person. One person. And so we thought, and the recidivism rate here in Gadsden County is 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 at an all time high, uh, 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 around sixty two to six eight percent, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know, folk find themselves going you know back and back forth and in forth. the jail. Right. Uh, uh, we see over 4,000 people go to the, go in our jail mm -hmm, each year, mm -hmm. and most of them, you know, go in there anywhere from eight to ten times a year. Wow. And so we thought it would be necessary for this community to come up with yes. a, a reentry program. Yes. And uh, and it's a faith program. Oh yeah. And uh, being a man of faith, hey. you know, I just I really try to any program I implement, 
you know, I do it in a, in, in the realm of faith. Right. And, um, because you know, we have it in the other way. Exactly. Because we have to have a foundation of faith yes. in order to build anything. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break, Sheriff. And um, after this break, we're going to have more about this great Sheriff, Sheriff Young of Gaston County. This portion of Life in the Now TV is brought to you by Will Thou Be Made Whole Women's Day program, Sunday, August 12th, 4 p.m. at New Birth Tabernacle of Praise, 1200 Harlem Street, Tallahassee, Florida, where Rudy Ferguson Sr. is the pastor. Also brought to you by the Dream Life Conference, Wednesday, August 22nd at 7.30 p.m., Discovering Life International Ministries, 5671 Crawfordville Road, Tallahassee, Florida, where Ivory Guyton is the pastor. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies are named Tom, Frank, and John. But Marco's Pizza has a founder named Pasquale, who was actually born in Italy. Marco's Authentic Italian Pizza. of physical activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Skip a rope Saturday, freeze tag Friday, tap dance Thursday. All the healthy children, all the healthy children. Get ideas. Get involved. Get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov. 